to the Home and Finance Show. We're your host. I'm Diana Rice Wilkerson with Fairway Independent Mortgage, and joining me is my co-host. Good morning. I'm Janice Bradley with JB Real Estate Consultants. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a wonderful show planned for you today. And Janice, let's start with you. What's going on in real estate? Well, again, um, I know people are just going to look at me and say, seller's market, is that who? Is that all you know to say? <laughs> yes, seller's market. But um, with that, with that, um, Diane, I think I'd like to just kind of share a little bit, uh, to talk to the sellers a little bit, okay. and you know what what you want to also do to prepare and to keep your, keep your, the price up and and all the, all that jazz. So we're always talking about um, again sellers market, and you're wanting to get the best possible you know dollar. But there's a couple of things, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, that you can also do to you know to help out. You won't, if anybody knows me, when we're talking about a seller, I'm getting ready to list a property, the number one thing, what is the number one thing, Diana, and I say for you to do? Make sure your front door looks appealing and attractive. This is true. This is very true. Um, that wasn't what I was looking for, but I like that. I, you know, I am a front door person. There's no doubt about that. But I always say have a home inspection. Okay. Yes. We want to have a home inspection. <laughs> But you know how I am about front doors. I, I you know, know. That's why I was I, like, that was it. It is. It, it was very close second. Okay. So on the, on the, and then I'm getting ready to say on that front door, you want to have an inspection. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, it, so. But having the home inspection is the best thing. It, I mean, it, it just that really, is the, it just is really is. Step. You know, you, you, you would really be surprised no matter uh, whether it's a short period of time or a long period of time when, um, when a, homeowner has lived in their home, how uh, they really don't realize uh, some of the things that are not functioning properly, you know, unless it's really, really bad. But this is just going to be very, very good for you, first of all, just to kind of be able to answer a lot of things actually truthfully even on the seller's disclosure sheet. So I always, um, you know, always want to recommend and highly suggest that you do, um, you have your home inspection. That's also going to help you, uh, you know, get pretty much top dollar, you know, especially if there's something that needs to be upgraded or needs to, you know, things even like for, um, servicing your HVAC system. You know, it'd be, you know, it's so unbelievable how many people do not service their uh, HVAC system. But, you know, people are going to look at that and when is your, your updates for that type of thing. So that's one of the things I just want to recommend. Um, and again, have a professional. Most realtors should be pretty much of a professional to go through your house with you to determine, you know, what I look at a house with, with buyer's eyes when I walk into um, anytime anybody's asking me to list their home. I'm looking for space. You know, um, we're all so used to how we live that you don't think about, you know, that your furniture may be kind of chunky, you know, just because you're used to it. You got a lot of, you know, you got family and, you know, the kids are all, all over the different pieces if it's a sectional, things of this nature. I've even had to ask sellers, you know, to remove one, maybe one or two pieces of their sectional right. just to give it a different kind of look and feel because, again, you know, it's hard to say, but it's no longer your house. It's, you know, you really want it to appeal it's to like, it, but. It's like, I feel like you're saying you gotta face some hard truth, you know, okay. and that to me, I mean, that, and, and in a very uh, tender spot in mm -hmm. your heart, which is your home. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the home inspection coming back saying that there are repairs yeah. that need to be made. Yeah. And then here's the realtor coming like you, mm -hmm. tell, telling folks to get rid of a couple of pieces of your sectional. Yeah. And then all of a sudden as, a, as an owner, you're feeling like you have totally lost control. Have, and, right. and you have, right. so it's a mindset. Mentally, you gotta get ready for this process. Right, Yeah. what tickles me is people say, well, I know that I probably should remove the pictures. And so, you know, I'm, I'm over that, yeah. okay, whether you do or not. However, if you do need to remove the pictures or you want to, fill in the holes. That means you're going to have to repaint. Right. So like you said, you know, right. nothing's ever easy in this, no. you know, but, no. but again, but again, have the professional go through and just kind of determine, I mean, some plants, um, I, I had a client that had, I know that I'm not exaggerating, she had no less, possibly more than 100 roosters, okay? Love the roosters. And she had plant shells, so th that took care of nothing left but 
roosters all through the house, every nook, nook and cry. And you're talking about little ceramic yeah. or pictures mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. roosters, okay. Yes, okay. yes. All right. So we had to do something about that. I'm sure you, know? you did. But it's just little things, and she was, took a very personal, I remember the daughter coming out of the room and saying, I love you, Miss Janice. You know, when I made the comment again, you know, about that. But again, um, you know, there, the kitchen counters, you've got to keep those counters really clean. I Just hide everything. Anytime you know that there's going to be a showing, just hide everything. But that kitchen, we don't need anything on the counters, but whatever has to be. So while we're talking about um, having that home inspection to sell, right. we also want to just talk to uh, our buyers today, too, about um, how to prepare for owning a home mm -hmm. and having a home warranty, mm -hmm. okay, to take, mm -hmm. make sure those things are functioning exactly right. So we have a wonderful guest that is going to be joining us today to I talk love it. about Absolutely. Amy Drudge is going to be here. She's going to be talking about a home warranty. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest fear of our, around a lot of folks who mm -hmm. are buying homes. Like, okay, what happens when my furnace stops working and, and or something like that? And so, one of these things about the home warranty situation, yep. as a seller, when you put your house on the market, you can also have that home warranty. Very good. And it gets transferred. Has it been a nightmare trying to buy, build, sell, or refinance a home? Then wake up to the real estate dream team of Janice Bradley and Diana Rice Wilkerson. This dynamic duo provides you with up-to-date, honest information, credit counseling, financing options, and more. Don't listen to haters who say, you can't own your own home. Yes, you can. With Janice and Diana, call now and listen for them on the Home and Finance Show, Saturdays, 1 p.m. on WTLC AM 1310 The Light. again welcome to the home and finance show again and we had spoken a little bit earlier about home warranties and anybody who knows Diana and I you know when we have guests we have the best so the best is Amy Drudge with choice home warranty and Amy we are going to let you introduce yourself talk to us about home warranties what it is, why it is, and all that jazz. Have at it, Amy. Wonderful. Well, thank you for having me, you beautiful, beautiful ladies. I so enjoy working with you too. So um, thank you for having me. So yes, home warranties. I've been selling home warranties for about 10 years now. So I see the good, the bad, and the ugly because there's a little bit of everything with home warranty, right? It, uh, unfortunately, sometimes things will get stuck or sometimes someone will get a denial and they're not happy about it. And my job is to kind of go after everything. Like I do orders. I take care of people if they have questions. Um, my job is to kind of go after anything that anyone has a question on. Um, but um, I know you have questions for me. And I think the first thing you guys wanted to know was, what does a home warranty cover? What is it? What does it cover? So right. um, what it is, it's kind of like an insurance policy, only instead of insurance, I like to call it assurance, right? So insurance isn't going to cover something that just breaks down due to age, but your home warranty is going to cover something that breaks down due to age. So that's why I like to call it assurance. It's going to cover you for any mechanical failure in your home that happens due to normal wear and tear. And then I always like to say what's included in that mechanical failure part of it. I always like to say, think peach, P-E-A-C-H. You're covered for plumbing, electrical, appliances, cooling, and heating. Now your water heater is included in that plumbing portion. Lots of stuff is included in that plumbing portion, but that think peach acronym, and I'll say it one more time, plumbing, electrical, appliances, cooling, and heating. That's the easiest way to understand what it's actually going to cover you for. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So why, why should a person have a home warranty? That's a great question. Uh, I love talking about this because, I mean, obviously it's what I sell, but I, I think they're very, very valuable, especially in the day in which we live. We're living in a COVID, you know, we're living in a year of COVID, right? This is just unprecedented. People are using the heck out of their houses. They're using their mechanical systems more than they have ever used them ever in their lives, right? We're all home more, we can't go anywhere. So things are failing because we're using them more. And so I think it's important because then 
if something fails, you don't have that huge price tag of a new air conditioner or a new heating system. You know, you don't have that huge price tag price tag on those things. The home warranty is going to cover co come in and cover for those items, and so you're just not sticker shocked when oh my word, my air conditioner's out. I'm going to have to pay five thousand dollars for a new one. The warranty will take care of the cost of the parts and the labor to get all of that fixed up for you. And who can benefit from it? So most people don't know this, okay? Most people think, oh, a home warranty is what you have when you purchase a home. Actually, mm -hmm. anyone can have a home warranty. You, even if you've lived in your home for 30 years, what if you have a rental house? You want to put a home warranty on that? That's just fine. So anyone who's lived in their home can have one. A person recently buying a home or, or currently buying a home can have one. If you have rental properties, you can have one. Um, you know, anyone can have one. One other cool thing is, I know you ladies are realtors. So if you are listing a home, if you use one of these ladies as your realtor, you are eligible for a complimentary listing coverage while your home is on the market. You have to use a realtor though to do that you can't just put your house for sale by owner and, and have one of those so really anyone can have a home warranty so uh kind of uh, janice has this saying that is she'll say talk to me like i'm a three-year-old i love it um so if i'm a new home buyer and i at my closing i have to buy, provide my own home warranty and i've got one because janice was my realtor and she made sure i got a home warranty through choice um, and say I've been in my home now for two weeks and my um, electrical is giving me some sort of problem. What would be the process and or the cost for me to have that addressed? Right. Okay. So you buy a new house two weeks in, you're something, your, elect, your, your light switches don't work or your ceiling yeah. band doesn't work. So what you do First off, no matter what home warranty company you are going with, the first thing you want to do is file your claim. Do not go rogue and call your electrician out and expect to be reimbursed. The first, very most first thing you have to do is file your claim with the home warranty company. All right. All the home warranty companies are going to advise you. Some are some some let you get your own vendor once you filed the claim. Some companies have their own set of vendors that they really want to use, um, just because they've already made sure they're licensed, bonded, and insured. They've already negotiated down costs of labor. So many reasons why we want to use our own, right? But once you file that claim, we dispatch it out to our vendor network. Okay. Once a vendor picks it up, a vendor communicates with you and says, hey, I'm going to be out tomorrow between three and five to look at your electricity. Okay, perfect. Or if that time doesn't work, you can pick up the phone and call them and go and work out that time with them. They're, they're super amenable to that. Um, but make sure you first file your claim. We'll get a vendor out to you. That vendor then tells us what the diagnosis is. They're gonna say, oh, we just needed to change out the switch or um, you know, whatever, whatever the diagnosis is. I only know enough to be dangerous, um, but uh, they'll tell us the diagnosis. And then we say yes or no, it's a covered claim or it's not a covered claim. If it's covered, they're gonna try to fix it right then and there. Sometimes they have to order parts. So they may have to come back out. If ever they have to make two visits for you, we all know that there's a deductible due, right? So when the vendor comes out initially, you pay them a deductible. With choice, that deductible or service call fee is $65, okay? So you pay them that $65. Say they have to come out tomorrow because they had to order a part and they have to, they have to make that repair tomorrow. You only ever are due that one time 65 service call fee when for that, that one specific failure, you're only due one trade call fee or service call fee, even if they have to come back to or three times, just so you know. All right, so that's how All it right. works. Now, what about parts? Does the, um, does the homeowner have to pay for parts? Are they just paying the $65 in, if working with your company? Does that include everything? Or is there any hitting? You know, in today's society, we're a little bit paranoid about, okay, some things sound too good to be true. You just said, hey, you guys send the vendor, you're responsible you pay $65, you don't have to pay, a, if they have to come out again, you don't have to pay another charge. But are there any other charges that could come up in this particular example? This is my favorite home warranty question because this is okay. when I get really home warranty honest with you. So 
if it's a simple failure, like if your refrigerator is out and we our vendor decides, hey, we can't repair it, we have to replace it, you're due $65 and that is it. If something larger, or say even your electricity, like if it's a simple you know, repair that they can make, you're only due $65. Now, this is where I wanna get really honest with you. If something larger breaks down, and I always like to talk about water heaters and HVAC, if your air conditioner or your heater break down, sometimes we can just come out and replace or we can repair it and you're due $65 and that is it. If, however, we have to re replace the entire system, sometimes there are more fees due than just the $65. And let me tell you what that looks like. Anytime we take something large out like that, that's typically very old, right? And we replace it with something newer, probably a little more sleek and a little smaller, right? Because that's how we right. kind of tend to make things as they as as time progresses. The old yeah. stuff used to be super big. Now the new stuff is a little smaller and you know, it's kind of like cars. But anyways, so say we have to replace your air conditioner. So when we take that old out and put that new in, sometimes we have to modify space or we have to modify electrical or ductwork. If any modifications have to take place, the homeowner is always due the cost of those modifications, okay? okay? So I just always want homeowners to know that sometimes they're really disappointed in us as a company because they owe maybe $200 as opposed to 65 mm -hmm. because we had to modify some electrical to get that new to fit in where the old was. So I want everyone to be clear. Sometimes there are a few other costs and I don't love gray. I really like black and white, but that's kind of the gray part of home warranty. But just yeah. know the home warranty is going to eat the cost of the parts and the labor and those modification costs are at the homeowner's expense. Does that make sense, ladies? It makes it does. sense. It and does. it's still a huge, huge, huge savings, even in that situation. Oh, absolutely. I can remember replacing a water heater but I wanted a larger uh, uh, water heater. So I paid for the difference, you know, and I, I was an okay with that. Yes, always an option. The thing is, what I love to tell people, just communicate with your home warranty company, communicate with your vendor and communicate with your home warranty company, because we're really easy. I mean, we'll let you do, you know, if you want something larger or bigger or better, we will let you do that. You just have to pay the difference. Um, I wanted to give you an example and I'll make it quick because I know we're on a time schedule here, but I had an air conditioning unit that went out in one of my rental houses. And so the EVAP coil had a hole in it. Well, they couldn't replace just the EVAP coil. They had to replace the whole thing. So I got an entirely new air conditioning system, the whole, everything. I got new lines ran, you know, for the, for the coolant. I got a new evap coil. I got the new unit that sits on the outside of the house. My out-of-pocket cost was $500, okay? So I kind of, like, if I had gone retail and not used yeah. my home warranty, mm -hmm. my out-of-pocket cost would probably have been four to $5,000. Yeah. So I was yeah. thrilled with that. Some people don't understand that, though. And as long as I think they understand it on the front end, and I really think people will love, love, love their home warranty if they understand, you know, all of the details about it. So, Amy, share with us the different ways um, a warranty can be paid for, because, you know, you, you might say a warranty is $450. And for some people, they'll say, oh, I don't have that kind of money. They can also buy that on a monthly basis. They right? sure can. They absolutely okay. can. So if you choose to pay monthly. So. Say you're just, you've lived in your home for 15 years and you say, you know what, I think I want a home warranty. We put that home warranty on. We let you decide how you want to pay for it. If you want to pay in full, great. You can do that. If you want to pay monthly, there are no hidden fees. Our middle plan, say they want the $500 plan. It's $500 divided by 12. They don't give you a $5 extra fee a month because you're paying monthly. They don't do anything like that. It's just that 500 divided by 12. That's your monthly payment. Now, I do want to tell you this. If you've lived in your home for more than 30 days and you choose to get a home warranty on it, the only difference is they give you a 30-day waiting period. No matter how you pay, if you want to pay monthly, you can pay in full. We don't care. We'll let you do whatever you want. But just know there's a 30-day waiting period if you've lived in your home for some time. And we do that just so everyone's pleased in the in the you know in the transaction, right? So we we just want to make sure that people aren't we they know their air conditioner is broken, so they're gonna put a home warranty on, file the claim the next day, we're going to deny mm -hmm. that, right? Mm -hmm. So we put that 30-day hold on it just to make sure that everyone is happy with the transaction. All right. But if I've lived in my home 30 day, 30 years, um, 
Is there an inspection that's required before I can get a home, home warranty just to see what condition the property's in? There is not. This is what I always like to tell my, my, my people who call me and they've lived in their home 10, 15, five years. It doesn't matter. Make sure that you understand this. Anything that's in proper working order, eligible for coverage proper working order on the start of the contract. So if you already know that your air conditioner is broken, just don't, please just do me a favor and don't try to get a home warranty on that because I don't want you to be disappointed. If it's broken before the contract starts, it could open you up for a denial and it probably would. Um, but if everything is in proper working order, you do not need an inspection. You do not, you do not need anything, all right? We give you that 30 day waiting period because we know that you're not going to have that home inspection. Make sense? Absolutely, absolutely. Amy, is there, um, are there any limits? So like within a 12 to 24 month to Good 36 question. month period, um, are you, is there any limits that um, once a, a homeowner has, you know, called upon the services, you know, X number of times, then their rate may go up or they may be no longer eligible? Great question. Actually, we are very different from insurance in that way. With home warranty, you can file as many claims as you want, and we're not going to cancel you. All right. We're not going to raise your rate. You know, once you sign a contract, that is your annual fee. Okay. We're not going to raise it in the middle just because you filed 20 claims. We are very yeah. different from insurance like that. So I love that about us. Just know each time you file a claim and have a different vendor out, you're paid, you're paying $65 to that vendor, right? To get that repair made, but you can file a hundred claims and we don't care. All right. Okay. It's legitimate. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Now, how do you get involved with, with new builds? Did you say, how do we handle new builds, like new home yes. construction? Mm -hmm. We do have a product for that. Um, we So the manufacturer's warranty or the builder warranty is typically for one full year. So mm -hmm. if you do choose to purchase a home warranty at the closing table, when you do purchase a, a brand new home, our, our home warranty then would start day 366. And again, let me back up. If it's purchased at the closing table, it starts on day 366 and it actually goes for two years for the price of one. So year one, you're covered with the builder. If you purchase the home warranty when you close for on that new build, again, the home warranty starts day 366 and then it goes for year two and three. That's what's going to cover you for, that's what choice would do is cover you for year two and three after the, the manufacturer's warranty expires that first year. Does that make sense? It does. Mm -hmm. Excellent. It does. And there's one, the, the, the cool thing is you're getting one year free because we only mm -hmm. charge that $550 or $500 price. So you're actually covered for two years, year two and three for the price of one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the landlord warranty any different than the existing homeowner warranty? It is not any different, but what I always like to talk about right here and now, when we talk about landlords and um, property managers, a lot of property managers absolutely love home warranties, okay? And then you've got your other property managers who are like, oh, you know, you never do it, you, know, you never do it quick enough for me, so we don't want to do a home warranty. So it depends. I just always want property managers to understand that once they file the claim, the vendor picks it up, the vendor will notify them of when they're going to come out. So it's not like you can use your own contractor who's like your buddy who can just come mm -hmm. out. So I always want to make sure my, my property managers and my landlords understand that we have to follow the process. We try to be mm -hmm. quick about it. We try to be as quick as we can, but oftentimes, you know, you have an agreement with your tenant that if your air goes out, you'll fix it within 48 hours or whatever. Now, we're going to try to do that, but again, home warranty is a process and we have to follow the process. So I always like to talk about that right here and now. Can the tenant actually buy the warranty versus the landlord or does it have to be the landlord? We don't care who purchased the war who purchases the warranty. When that property has a warranty on it, we don't care who whomever the the contract or the policy holder is. Mm -hmm. Those are the people who will be able to file the claims. Oftentimes, property managers want to put it in their name as well as the tenant's name. That way, the tenant is in control of when they file claims, and then the mm -hmm. tenant is responsible for the sixty five dollars or the trade call fee or whatever. Um, but we will do whatever the property manager wants to do if the tenant chooses to purchase a warranty on it, they are welcome to do that as well. 
Can you give out your contact information, Amy? I sure can. So I'll, I'll try to say it slowly. Um, I am okay. on my phone number. You can call me anytime. I speak with your clients just as much as I speak with. I usually work with realtors only, but I always speak with homeowners. My phone number is 317-619-7790. I am local. I live in Indianapolis. I live in Fishers. Um, and then my, my email address, you can email me anytime, adrudge, D-R-U-D-G-E, at chwpro dot com and chw is like choice home warranty pro pro dot com and is there a website also if someone wants to actually go out maybe take a look around and read about it absolutely and i'm just it's it's uh, I, I hate to be redundant but i'm going to give you my website it's www.amydrudge.com and my name is spelled a m i e D-R-U-D-G-E. And if you go to www.amydrudge.com, you will find all of the brochures, all the PDF of the contract. You will find all. You can also go to www.chwpro.com. Now, can you, can you briefly, because we only have a one minute left, can you briefly explain the difference between your different plans? Good point. Good question. Yes, I can. And I apologize. My dogs say hello. Um, we have three different plans. We have three different plans. We have a $500, $580 plan. That's our top of the line plan. We have a $500 plan. And then we have a 420 plan. And I want to tell you this. I am not a salesy sales girl, but you get what you pay for when it comes to home warranty. So if you get the 580 plan, you are not going to have any exclusions with, you know, sediment buildup in water heaters, or, you know, if there's an improper install, you're going to get a little bit of money towards that as opposed to a big fat denial. Um, so you do get what you pay for in home warranty. All the plans are good. You get a, like the, like I said, there's a 580, a 500 and a 420. The 420 excludes your washer, dryer, and your refrigerator. The thank 500. you, Amy. I think we yes, have I'm to sorry. go now. I appreciate your time. Yes. Thank you so much for having me, ladies. Thank you. Right. Thank, thank you for coming on. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, listening audience, we certainly hope that you have gotten a lot of information about home warranties, the good, bad, and the ugly, but we're always going to say good because it is so important to be able to, you know, just like we're talking about taking care of your health, well, your house also, take care of the things inside your home, and especially for the cost, when you think about $65, you know, just for a service fee. So anyway, uh, you can reach Amy at 317-619-7790. Goodbye. Has it been a nightmare trying to buy, build, sell, or refinance a home? Then wake up to the real estate dream team of Janice Bradley and Diana Rice Wilkerson. This dynamic duo provides you with up-to-date, honest information, credit counseling, financing options, and more. Don't listen to haters who say, you can't own your own home. Yes, you can. With Janice and Diana, call now and listen for them on The Home and Finance Show, Saturdays, 1 p.m. on WTLC AM 1310 The Light.